All right. Um, so Good. here we are, and we are doing some Battletech art viewing uh, with yes. Mr. George Ledoux. And Hi. Uh, yeah, this is going to be up on New Year's Eve, so people are going to get a nice taste of New Year's Eve, and they're going to celebrate it um, by mm. watching this. Wow. I'll wow. B- I'll be leaving for the, the, the next day for the convention. Woo. All right. Okay. There, there you go. Right. Here's our first piece of art. I, I can't. Why? Fuck. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that that's a hey, that's a cooling mesh she's wearing, not fishnet it's, stockings. Uh, it isn't. Are you sure? I I no, think that's what it said in the book. That's what it said in the that was Clan Wolf book. And look, that's what it said in the I, 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 like, I love that he has like a pee flap on the on the front. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's part of the cooling vest. See, those are those are ventilating uh, fins. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? I mean, why is only one shoulder protected? Is that the one he leans into with? I, no, I think I think the other guy's like it's like his squire. Oh, his I see. On. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah, he's attaching. He's putting it on now. Yeah, he's he's with the local seven nineteen shoulder builders. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's, the poor guy is just like sitting there on the throne, looking like this is like he's super depressed. He's like, "What are you depressed about? You're literally <laughs> the most enhanced human being." In the universe, and you still He's look putting like on one of those attack dog training suits. <laughs> I, I I love the I love the feed. I love the feed. It it it's just you know. I mean, I love that there's anti slip shoes, but this has got to be the next level. This is like waffle stompers. Wow, <laughs> they look like giant cinder blocks. So is he going to put his feet in those other things? That's what you guys are talking about. Those that those yeah, are the, the feet. I, I'm I'm guessing. Because um, all those make me think of is the bad robot from uh, the Buck Rogers TV show. Oh, God. That's what that <laughs> makes me think of. Beady, beady, beady. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Buck. Okay, Buck. Beady, beady, beady. Uh, that I, was... What that robot's name? I. Uh, that was God Mel Blank, it. wasn't it? Yeah, it was Mel Blank and like the one of the last things he ever did because all his voices at you know eighty seven years old sounded the same. <laughs> hey, I'm Bugs like, Bunny now. <laughs> That's right. Let's get Mel Blank. Beat it, beat it, beat it. What's up, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mel, it's Buck. What's up, Buck? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Next. Um, Next. Wow. Me. That, that's me and the boys. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the middle one is just like, can you guys scoot over? This is really uncomfortable. <laughs> the, the guy on wow. the right's from like Space Tennessee because the double barrel shotgun is still in vogue. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, god damn. I like how he's wearing like Klingon armor. Yeah, that's what it makes me think of is like Klingon armor. Uh, is that like a minigun pistol? Yeah, uh, from the makers of Impractical Armaments comes minigun pistol. The guy on the left looks like his zipper got stuck in his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fucked up there. <coughs> yeah. hey, hey, can you help me with this? <laughs> you know, um, put the suit on as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, quick, quick, quick. <clears throat> what? I, I love how the ear flaps of his helmet are way too long. It looks like one of the kids from A Christmas Story. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Oh, I just realized he's got a cigarette or something, right? Oh yeah. I mean, that or he's pretending to. You know, he's like one of those kids with candy cigarettes. Like, no, I'm yeah, smoking. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. Yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. I'm gonna be awesome. <laughs> See, now the cooling vest thing was supposed to be fishnets, but the guy on the right's just wearing it because it's it's cool. Well, maybe it's part of the whole. You know. uh what do you call it? The foxy? This is the problem. I can't think of the words. Like, it's part of his military units, you know, outfit. But what, has he got... Corinthian this, leather? <laughs> I'm just looking at, at at that guy with the fishnets. Has he got, like, tiger stripes there? The yeah. His arm? That, that or that's, like, where he wipes his chip stains off. He's like, oh, hold on, I got a call. <laughs> God. Uh, I, I do love the fingerless gloves. That's peak 80s to me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, moving on. Next one is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Duke Nukem sells you booby missiles. Yeah, Duke Nukem, absolutely. John St. Like, John. Oh, it's my like God. It's like Duke Nukem with a body of uh, Stretch Armstrong. 
<laughs> it does look like Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> it, it's like some really bad cosplay picture. Like someone took it at a convention. That's what this reminds yeah. me of. Yeah. Yeah, like Wait. the guy in the suits, like he he's like this. This looked really great in photo ops, but when you have to move him around, he's like, "Fuck, this is awkward as shit." Yeah, clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> this is my awesome co elemental costume. Everyone's gonna think this is cool, and like every nobody knows what the fuck it is. In, in, in <laughs> meanwhile, are you supposed to be a robot. <laughs> in, in meanwhile, Jesus. on the inside, he's like sweating bullets. He's like, "I regret this costume so much." <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He, he should have made it. Opposite directions. Oh, that other guy though. Yeah, <laughs> we are going to pump you up. Look at us. Is that is that real? <laughs> what do you mean? Is that real? Is, <laughs> <laughs> is it a real? Is it real BattleTech art? This is re nice. this is not Deviant art. This is real BattleTech art. <laughs> okay. It is. He kind of has the body of a Cardassian. Because the elementals <laughs> front. <laughs> plate thing is like all fucked up off center well yeah, yeah. it's like man but okay. as mike points out the guy's got the cardassian neck thing going on um <laughs> true <laughs> yeah. yeah what do you yeah. know about yeah. kana picard <laughs> 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 oh <Jesus>. god next <laughs> Oh, next button. There we go. <laughs> oh, is that how you do it? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little button on the right side. Of the yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is this is me and Janos and our on our honeymoon. Oh, it was so nice. We went to the we went to the Alps and uh, this is before Hans picked uh, Janos picked up his lederhosen. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I'm wearing a basket weave <laughs> under my under my clothes. I, I'm just drying my socks. <laughs> they both are. That yeah. guy on the right has some serious Hans Gruber vibes. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. It's like. When we're done here, I gotta get to Nakamichi Plaza. What the hell was that plaza? <laughs> Nakatomi Naka Plaza. Nakatomi. Nakatomi. See? I fucked it up. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Oh, what a great right. Christmas movie. Yeah. Mount Raja. <laughs> Where the fuck is Mount Raja? It's That's just, but that is totally 80s. I mean, that Farrah Fawcett hair. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. Well, the hair usually does say a lot about where where they're from. Because I, I think in the future we're gonna look back at like frosted tips and be like, were people into concrete or what's what's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> Fell in concrete. <laughs> Jesus. Well, here's here's what I love I is climbing. is that not only do you have an insignia emblazed on your clothes, but you've got mm. an Iger sanctioned belt there, and then you've got <laughs> yes this fucking hey. You know what I need to do is I need to get a forehead tattoo. Well, mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Tyson. <laughs> they got those down at the German market that was at the base of the hill. You know, they were just selling the little, it was like a little Christmas German market. And so the, there was supposed to be somebody there doing like face painting for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a state seal? It is not optional. <laughs> it's all we have. <laughs> our, our artist didn't show up, so we were just stamping these on people's heads. It's it's the guy at the post office. <laughs> he just got the state seal stamp. <laughs> yeah, this is what we are doing today. We didn't have the artist show up. <laughs> All right. All right. Lovely. Next. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Griffons. Look at these people. <laughs> yeah, Look. these people are... are yeah. All right. Second row, far <laughs> right. Back. Second row, far right is the best face. Just <laughs> Victor Franz, Victor, not Victor, Victor. <laughs> That's the guy. These look all look like guy. those pictures people take at the office. And oh like, my we need, god. We need, your, we need it for your lanyard, and so they were like, "Oh yeah, okay." Or for the the company's website, you know, they do this. Yeah. Meet our meet our team. Well, I, yeah, Victor I, Franz looks like a guy who's like, this is my headshot for all my professional, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love the Victor Franz because it's like, um, all right, here's your face first paycheck. And they're like, uh, yeah, this is made out to Victor. Well, deal with it. That's between you and the bank. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> we, can't, we can't change it now. There's too much paperwork. That, that you can look into his eyes. That's a man who loves cutting up other mechs with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> but... The the guy in the bottom right is that lame guy in the office that plays music too loud. I'm oh, just, yeah. I yeah, 
My name is Book Asbury. They, uh, yeah, I pilot a Wolverine. <laughs> you and he points at you. Inside? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, how's it going? Point it. That's right. And Johnny Knox, well, he's he's left over from the Beretta TV show, so he doesn't count. Wow. He's like a struggling artist, you know. He's, is that what he is? He's struggling? He's, yeah, he's, he's, struggling <laughs> he's only able to get into an enforcer, you know. It, okay. The, now, the, the dude on the bottom left, I think, bears special attention <laughs> because that is the cringe that comes from trying to hold back vomit. That, <laughs> that like is some strangely ethnic Bob Ross. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's it's hard to tell, but the lady dead center in the cicada. It that that lady looks like she 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 would be like trying to sell you a house with a deep southern oh, yeah. accent. Like, come <laughs> on into the vestibule, huh? She's like, Look at those cathedrals. <laughs> Look at the cathedral ceilings. My God, you'll be spending thousands of dollars heating this space. <laughs> oh, God. But she Candy, I think Candy was named. Uh, much too soon. I think if they could have looked into the future, Candy in the middle right, they would have seen that that's really not going to work for her down the line. I, Maybe she, that was the name she got when she was younger. But she, she doesn't doesn't fit that name anymore. It doesn't say what kind of candy. It could be black licorice. <laughs> what, what's your name? My name's Candy on Whorehounds. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, she looks like she should be driving a bus and smoking Pall Malls. Yeah, you know what? They should switch her name with the top one on the right with Martha Zaritas. Martha Zaritas. Those two look like they would. They they have the right, the wrong names. You know, like if you switched them, that would be perfect. I doubt any of these people put a fucking neuro helmet on, including Diane. Diane, don't I know. One on. Yeah. No. You don't need to. They control things. All right. Uh, all right. Next. <laughs> I got Jane Steiner. <laughs> I got Jane Steiner. <laughs> Can you stay far enough down my shirt? Oh my god! I run I the you. largest successor house. <laughs> <laughs> my starry gown. <laughs> she has a she has a forehead like a sixty year old man. <laughs> I'm telling you, sometimes, you know, prolonged age is not the way to go. Sometimes it's best to die young. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, if that wasn't wearing lipstick, that would be the face of a boxer. <laughs> well, that would go well with the Steiner logo, wouldn't it? Like, <laughs> I just realized it says 87. That's just get line. in there and show them what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, her uh, claws that she's leaning look at her hand that she's leaning with that, that oh claw. she's obviously got a tumor growing in her <laughs> behind her small Not finger the tumor she's growing well here's the thing that i love is also in the 80s the shoulders you know oh yeah it just showed up a pad romulan shoulders oh yeah the romulans do it for no reason like we wear quilts and shoulder pads we didn't make these doorways this wide for nothing. <laughs> Welcome to Steiner Space. Our women are enormous. <laughs> so enormous. Uh, I've what I've gone to the next photo. Oh, next uh, one. Oh, whoa. Whoa, dude. Steampunk I, I, and <laughs> the jungle world. I don't know. It's again, like again. It's that guy. They were. They told him draw BattleTech, and he misread it as D and D. And then he's like, "Oh yeah. shit!" And then last second, he had to change everything. That's I mean, true. he totally looks yeah. like some kind of druid guy, <laughs> but they mixed in, you know, like the steampunk element with the weird eyepiece and the whatever the fuck that's <laughs> supposed to be coming up behind it. I will have you know the gnomes are the foremost expert on peak pits <laughs> in the galaxy. <laughs> You can tell I'm a gnome because my butt is on my nose. Oh God! <laughs> what is yeah, what is, is with that? Like like I gnomes... like to collect seashells. <laughs> that's like an eighty year old man nose right there. It that's, is. That's a... it, it's it's like that yeah. nose from Nothing But Trouble. You know, with Dan Aykroyd, that weird yeah. movie they yeah. let him make. <laughs> the gin. He's got a big gin blossom forming there. It's like he's he's seen a lot of things, so he's had to drink his troubles away. Did I ever tell you about the Peach Pit Wars of 87? <laughs> yes. Yes, you did. 
<laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, next. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> I didn't, say, I didn't see it the first time, but you're absolutely right. Steven Spielberg in The Crevasse. <laughs> the Crevasse, yes. He, he's, just seeing, he's just seeing George Lucas making uh, the fucking Phantom Menace, and he's like, oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, no, George. Oh. Oh, the, the biggest uh, character is going to be Jar Jar. He's kind of central to the whole thing. Oh. oh, Jar Jar. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And you just see him like slowly leak into the back into a bush. <laughs> well, I've seen everything I can, and it's uh, time to leave. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Steven, do you realize your uh, one of your eyeglasses is broken? Hot. That's okay. I, you know, I, <laughs> it, it helps me just to get a prismatic view of the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's multifaceted like my film's The Duel. No, that's just about an angry trucker. <laughs> that's right. The whole front of this thing does kind of remind me of like a Rorschach test. Yeah, it like does. what What do you see in the crevasse? <laughs> what do you see? Uh, I see a face. <laughs> I, see a, I see a palm leaf. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck I see. <laughs> Come uh, back I see old. a giant uh, pile of dinosaur poop. There you go. Yeah. It could be that too. Here's how that's we frame Spielberg, Jurassic <laughs> Park. Yeah, it's it's a great shot. Just like, hey, let's put a giant turd in this movie. <laughs> It'll be funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like he, at least he doesn't do like Lucas. Well, my kids liked it, so I kept it in there. Okay. <laughs> Good job, George. Next. Wow. Next. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> this looks like something like a, a, a POW. It would draw. <laughs> like when they're in captivity. Yeah, it, but what's this looks like an eight-year-old drawing on the back of his binder, and like the guys in the background are like, "Hey, take the old flag down. It's really gay." <laughs> and they're like putting the new flag up, and they don't know that like the emotional merit guy in the foreground is like, "I love them." <laughs> you know, maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's you're reading the whole picture wrong. Maybe it's just like taken in the back of a fast food restaurant. He's been cutting onions for the past, you know, 20 minutes. <laughs> These guys have the potato guns. Did you ever have a potato gun as a kid? Yeah. 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 That's what those things that they're holding remind I, me of. I, I, they remind me of, of uh, the man with a golden gun. Oh, yes, God. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just assemble it. <laughs> yep. Just put it together. Look at that. See, you know, I've, I've put a lot of guns together in my life, and mm. I always had the concern with the man with the golden gun. Like, whenever someone starts talking shit and looks away from him, he starts taking the stuff out to put the gun together. I just think it'd be funny <laughs> if he forgot an essential part. So he's sitting there, and he's like, oh, the firing pin. And they're like, what, what's no. that in your hand? He's like, oh, my lighter and my pin. <laughs> yeah. Or he just tries to bluff his way. It's like, yes, this gun. I've got, you know, I've, I'm, I'm armed now. Oh, and geez, don't shoot us. I hope the fuck they don't. No, he, he gets like, <laughs> they don't he gets push it. And don't he's like, call my bluff. Like, Is that a gun? Uh, no. And then he just throws it at their face. Oh, is my mascara running? It, it is. It, I, I don't know what they were going for. Like, I think this picture would have been better if he was, like, looking at the flag, you know, like, from, from the back. That would have made a lot more sense, but... Well, it, maybe he was a moment ago. Maybe they've just turned him around, you know. He was he was like, oh, no, our flag has been taken down, and then they whipped him around. For the cameras, you know, just... Yes, for the cameras, like taking propaganda photos. Whose flag is that on the top? Well, here's the yeah. thing that's really weird. Yeah. It looks like they're tearing the Merrick flag down. That's, that's what right. it is. But that right. little Phoenix Dick thing looks. Ah, oh God! I gotta get my BattleTech flag recognition shirt out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a that's a tough one because they have a shitload of like. Well, yeah, because when you get to the Chaos March and all that, there's a million things. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean to quiz you. No, that's 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 what this is. Now, see, you know, certain certain you know fl uh, clan or certain emblems, I do recognize. That's just not one of them. No, know? and it looks. It, at first, I was like, "Oh, is that an Arano Restoration piece?" It's like, no, this is '80s because the Arano Restoration has a winged creature. But uh, oh this would be God. a good one to transform into a clan snack cobra thing. 
<laughs> we we did because have someone make that. White. We I, did we but, did have well, someone make it. I know. I know, but I mean in this one you could change that flag because it's just black and white. So a Photoshop, you know, someone who was good at it could could easily change that one. You don't have to fuck around with colors and stuff. But colors That's are fun a, to people okay. who can see them. Um Yes. <laughs> Okay. Um, but no, that's that's the thing is I'm sitting there scrolling through and I'm I'm not I'm not seeing it because the the issue is 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 not any of the major successor houses because that's that's obvious. You, you've got the Capellans, which got a knife, and you got Steiner, which is fist, and you got Davion, which is sword and starburst, and you got Merrick, which is purple parakeet, and then you have right. uh, you know the stupid Draconis like welcome to the Chinese restaurant snake thing going on, and yes. and and then I'm sitting there thinking of like. Okay, what what about the minor houses and minor powers? And then off the top of my head, I'm going, oh, I'm drawing a blank, and George Ledoux made me look dumb. But that's fine, because I make me look dumb. <laughs> so <laughs> It's okay. I mean, you think about all those, like, periphery states and well, the pirate guys, and well, that's just so fucking many of them. And, well, and depending on era, because there, there's also the Chaos March, you have all these little micronations, you got all the periphery states, but if this is a bordering Merrick, that's going to kind of narrow it down mm -hmm. um but the guy's crying so i'm gonna move on oh my okay. god <laughs> <laughs> this is what i hear in my head this is the picture i see when someone on npr starts talking about jazz like i expect a guy looking like this with a giant scarf you know now see to me this 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 what I got from this was someone who is just arrived for his D and D session. He's going to be the DM, but he's a big like Doctor Who fan and or or Harry Potter, depending on the color you want to give his scarf. Of <laughs> <laughs> because he's not washed his hair anytime recently. No, and that it, that used... beard is definitely extending into his neck. <laughs> that is that is a neck beard, and you're correct. His hair looks like it's been cleaned with the back of his hand in a Frito Lay's bag. Exactly. So <laughs> that's just that was my that was my read on that. He can't grow a mustache. No, he he's tried. Like, By God, he's tried. He's got a run and start. Trying. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of those early Klingon or you know kind of mustaches. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like Kang. Yeah. <laughs> Kang. Yeah. Kang, yeah Kang, Kang and Kolos. Spray yes, exactly. Face. Yep, that's that's what it, it it rings to me. If if he was a DM, he would be one of those DMs that would be like, "So what Harry Potter house are you a member of?" And you're like, "Yes." And and in the back of your head, you're going, "Oh fuck." And you're like, "I don't know. I've never read any of the books." And he's like, "Hmm." And then just starts writing something <laughs> behind the DM oh, screen geez. and you're like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh no." It's like going to see your shrink. Can I see what you're writing? No. <laughs> Can I see what you're writing? Rolls dice? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Everything is a roll. <laughs> Except his virginity. That's a hard fail. Next! <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I broke it. God darn it. I broke it. You I'll broke back. it? No, it's oh, all no, it's all good. What the fuck? I, I love the poster in the background. Juice Man! Yes! <laughs> I, I uh, like I like that he's like what sur what uh, length of suppressor would you like? <laughs> that looks like he's got two of them glued together. He probably does. <laughs> he's like a little line there. Th it that makes it extra silent. <laughs> it sounds like a really shitty gun commercial. Double suppressor, double the gun. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually he's actually just a really extreme medic, and that is his hypo. <laughs> that, that whole thing in the front is just full of like morphine. He's going around shooting into the shooting into the wounded on the field. He's got the Hold gun. Still. You can go. Weird guns from Batman the animated series for some reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then he's this'll got look, like this look cool. A weird taped on thing. This guy's actually on Solaris Seven, by the way. This is oh Solaris. well, so, you mean this guy? They guy's... have a lot of gangs and shit. Yeah, Solaris, Solaris. Solaris Seven is 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 crime. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it's basically yeah, Blade Runner meets you know Las Vegas. Yeah, it's and, that kind of thing. Everything I've read about Solaris has indicated that unless you're a Solaris junk, you're probably gonna get shot. And if you're a Solaris junk, you're gonna get shot on TV. <laughs> Well, there's plenty. There was plenty of civilians, you know, all all basically working in the, you know, the industry, the industry of, you know, 
the, the gambling. It, the whole yeah. the whole thing was circled around the games. That's and, and it's just like just like Vegas. Well, yeah, you know? and I it's mean, it's it's one of those things where it's like, oh wow, you have a whole industry based on gambling and gaming, and what crime? What? Yeah, <laughs> where could, how could there be any? Now I know it's a weird thing, but there's a in the background one of those posters, the one that's underneath Juice Man. I can't think of the character, but this this guy with the weird like optometrist goggles on Sam Fisher kind of. Yeah, yeah, that that's kind of it's making me think of this character that uh, the artist that draws Hellboy, Mike Mignola. Oh yeah, he's, he's got like a character that's like Lobster Man or Lobster like Johnson, that. isn't it? Yeah, Lobster Johnson. That's I can I think that's the character. You know, in the comics, he looks he's got this weird, like you said, uh, uh, the uh, he just said it. Sam Fisher. The game. Yeah, Jeff Fisher. Yeah, Splinter he has that Cell. kind of like goggles going on and that's what that reminded me of as soon as i saw it it just think that looks like mike mignola yeah and, and, but, and god but it's not obviously yeah. and and then over the left hand shoulder you've got like mr clean but the extreme version <laughs> yeah the, the the 1984 version because that's that definitely looks like something from either an apple commercial or you know some old <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> so, yes comrade okay. clean close or shoot See, we're we're completely avoiding the topic of this guy's hair or his very interesting eye makeup. Look. No, they just took clip art of like a house plant and just. Put, <laughs> <there> <laughs> house plant. <laughs> yeah, because he actually looks like the guy behind him in the picture. That's 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 his real look. But he, you know, he threw that, you know, house plant on his head. They'll never recognize me. <laughs> They'll never recognize me with the biggest suppressor known to man. It, that's how right. do you fit that in your jacket? You don't. You, that's, and I'm disappointed that for a suppressor that size, he doesn't have a shadow run jacket where it's just like down to the ankles, you know, and he's got the mirror yeah. shades on. I'm a runner. And he's yeah, wearing he that nose ring with the chain because when he was a, a kid, one of his uncles like traumatized him with that. Hey, I got your nose. And he <laughs> did it. And ever since he thinks it can fall off. So He's, he's attached it to his head. The true so story of Solaris on. 7. Nose theft <laughs> on the rise. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George, you're in the background. <laughs> I am. Are you sure I'm not in the foreground? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm some fucking Duncan Fisher, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll hit Still you so with I'll hit you with my crowbar, Duncan. You're not holding anything. Ah, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'm thinking though is like it's like those old Tai Chi guys that still yes. still fight. And but but the issue is is he's got like TV sportscaster hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like he he was a game show host, <laughs> and and his man his you know his agent can't get him a gig doing anything. He's like Chuck Woolery. You know, so so he just spends his whole time on the internet cursing out the libs. <laughs> I, I, I just like the idea of some old guy doing karate and they have really good microphones. So every time he moves, it's like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> crack, crack. He's got that old trick where he puts like you know uh, uncooked pasta in his mouth. <laughs> he just <laughs> God. Just, Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Sorry, Grim. You sorry, hurt Grim. me. Man, that... People behind him, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, what... like, the guy with his fucking elbows, like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he keeps hitting the guy below him, and that's why the guy's got that face. Like, oh, stop beating me in the head. That's it's amazing. <laughs> I just want to see. I want to <laughs> see Grandpa fight the robot. <laughs> He's my grandpa versus the elemental. <laughs> the guy that That's works, it. That guy's gonna die. <laughs> it's it's like the robot wars on TV, you know. But instead of two robots fighting each other, they pick like old seniors who have nothing else to live for. <laughs> well, <that's... laughs> Hit him against a mechanical monster. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like something Duncan Fisher would announce. Now in the Steiner Arena, we have an old man versus <laughs> Mad Cat, <laughs> and then it just That's right. Isn't that what they did when the when uh, Word of Blake attacked Solaris? They because it was that kind of thing. It was like, oh, this is going to be an arena competition. They basically marched people out into the arena and had them, you know, attacked by by mechs. Yeah, that's uh, sort that's, of like the day, you know, the the 
the guy, the Christian to the lions kind of thing. You know? Yeah, the whole jihad thing, the word of Blake jihad thing was was really weird because I spoke with a few people who actually wrote it. And they said basically they were told, uh, yeah, you can't write anything in the main uh, storylines anymore. And uh, so uh, just move the plot forward 50 years and go. And they were like, uh, yeah. shit. <laughs> so, I mean, they, yeah, I, you're right. And I mean, they love Battletech, but when you're like pinned down and you have to do changes, what do you do? And in Battletech, the answer is nukes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nukes are unexplained, you know, universal, you know, disasters. Yeah. The HPG went down. How? Why? Why? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I hate Dark Age. I think Dark Age. Was- oh, I think it's I think it's terrible. It, but I, the whole talk to people and they, the, you know, the I because I've talked to them at the conventions and you know without uh, giving away identities, they were just like, yeah, we made some mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> we made some bad decisions, yeah, but, but it was all we had to do it quick. Well, yeah. Right, and that's that's the thing is in in what's great about BattleTech though is you don't have to play in that era. You know, you can say nope. in your own head canon, "Hey, my universe ends in thirty sixty seven, and that's fine. No one cares. That's right. It's it's not like Games Workshop where it's like you got to play the latest shit or you can go fuck yourself. You know. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, m- moving on to the next one. Oh wow. Oh baby. Uh, wow. But, hey, uh, we need you to make a we need you to make the neuro helmet look sexy. Um, <laughs> I can't move my neck cuz it really hurts and it is weighs that, a lot. Is, uh, is that a brim on the thing or is that like a faceplate that's been, you know, raised? <laughs> so it's like a welder faceplate like ee! Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> like man, but that's an intense look. That he's, is, he, he's citing wow. his uh, his cannon apparently. Why? Why would you need to do that when you're tied into the mech systems? Like, why? I no, think that's is, not. That's got to be some kind of a binocular or you know, yeah, telescope kind. No, of No, it's a got, kaleidoscope. That's this is R and R. This is R and R. Just keep turning it. Like, oh yeah, prisms. I'm, I could just imagine see? somebody walking up to to this person and just being like, uh, "Excuse me, sir," and he's like. I, uh, no, he's like, excuse me, ma'am. I'm a sir. Uh, I'm a sir. <laughs> <laughs> pronoun. It's pronoun. As <laughs> we oh, we I'm live in sorry, a sorry from a distance. You just no. I am a sir. That that That's helmet right. makes you goofy. And please don't wear it. I'm confused. <laughs> Did you forget your pants? No, these are just flesh colored. I- <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least they brought their security lanyard, so they're good to go when they get to the base. Yeah, they they, they, <laughs> they get in. That helmet's more, worth more than the pilot, so it's like shackled down in there, like you can't lose it. <laughs> yeah. God. So that's not a bolo tie. You're saying that's how that's attached. I, I I'm thinking they maybe like, they plug that in. That might be the the plug. Yeah, it's they they're they're the all cockpit. jacked in with all this stuff. But like yeah. some some people draw it as a bunch of like little frizzy wires going everywhere. I like the okay. idea of it being like a Vietnam era. Like here's your eight foot cable that's like as thick as your thumb <laughs> and it weighs twenty pounds and you can like click clack and put that in there and there's sparks. <laughs> it's like a bayonet mount. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and there's sparks and ozone, and you're like, <coughs> oh god, this is connected to my brain. If it's a, if it doesn't spark, it's not working. Exactly. <laughs> Re- remember to Off lick the, the end of the cable. <laughs> <laughs> now, is that like an electronic nicotine patch she has on, or what? Yeah, I was wondering about that. It's either that or for vertigo. So you know, <laughs> things moving around. What I think is that they're wearing that this person is not wearing pants and not shirt it's because their mech just runs really hot. Mm-hmm. Yep, I can see that. <laughs> I drive with the top down, K- Karen. This is an asteroid. Top down. <laughs> <laughs> what is that mech behind her? Uh, that's looking like a locust. I think this is also a locust too. But okay, the, so, the well, problem how with, would it be a locust if the one above it is a locust? Uh, with foreground the, with the background, for foreground background, maybe question mark. Um, the problem is the issue is is you're also talking old art, old battle yeah, tech yeah. art, so right, it's right. changed so much over the years. Yep. But if I remember correctly, the old locust had the dong turret thing going on, which was just weird. But hey, okay. you know, some guy was like in the art studio and he's like, "Yeah, hey, this one's getting a dong to it. <laughs> God. 
<laughs> How will it fight in multiple directions? It's got to have a tank turret, but it's got to look like a dong. <laughs> there. A nice long shaft right up the front. <laughs> And the guys who have to actually make the models are like, why? This is going to make it horrible. Nah, nah, well, hear me if, out. <laughs> look at the next picture and it explains a lot. See? Oh. Yeah, it, it, next picture. You know, I love, that? I love that in the far future, in, in, in this next picture, in, in, in the far future, you, you still have pull tab Cokes. Yep. <laughs> yep. Either that or it's her, you know, daily meal drink. Like, <laughs> I drink you know, and shook. I'm on, on Nutrisystem or, you know, whatever that is. I, I drink and shook because I can't get this helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that face flap must come down hard because her nose is gone. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Just every so often mid-conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it like closes the hatch on your helmet. Like like the old like that Monty Python character it was supposed to be oh, submitted yeah. here where yeah. like, you always have to keep lifting keeps it up lifting the salad yeah <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> I love that next oh the mod squad wow <laughs> whoa the, see it's got to be a band see the guy's got a microphone I, yeah that or a really shitty lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's plugs in. <laughs> yeah, it's great. We're going to fight within a 12-foot circle of that wall? <laughs> it's <a> th <laughs> Where, They're like having a meeting with somebody who's supposed to be the mech warriors to get the job done, and these people show up, and you're just like, you know what? I think I'm just going to I'm gonna pass. Hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> Hard pass. Like, no, Although man, you can stay. <laughs> I got an Orion, man. Star League era tech man. <laughs> I wow! I realize I realize something. That chain on uh, in front of that lady is not part yes. of the background. That's part of her dress. <laughs> is like a right. shipyard anchor chain. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just one of those like Halloween chains, you know, that are made of like plastic or styrofoam. Yeah, it's just part of a. It's a fashion statement. <laughs> Bernadette Peters was at the end of her career when she posed for this. Yeah, it just you know who Bernadette Peters is. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it instantly in the background you're gonna hear all these people going Bernadette Peters. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't think that's gonna work. Don't worry. Don't 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 do it. Bad George next. Oh wow! Okay. Look at this. Like okay. <laughs> the the guy on the right. Okay, there's so much going on here. We're gonna have to break this down. But that guy on the right with the bullet helmet. Looks, he is pissed. He is, Someone littered his office. He, he is, is fucking furious, but he looks like one of the Hawkmen from Flash Gordon. That helmet. Yeah. Hawkmen yeah, yeah, yeah. attack! Flash! Ha ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian Blessed was the, was the yeah. leader, right, of the yeah. Hawkmen? And he yeah. was fucking... I love he's great. Brian Blessed. He, he, he is, is great. awesome. What, I love him. What is with all the bald people? Because... I, I guess it's so you don't stand out from the bullet heads, I guess. I Bull I bullet heads versus the baldies coming to <laughs> TV. Well, you, you <sighs> definitely know the guys on the left are, are fucking government. Like, they gotta government, be. That's a government haircut. Okay, fine. Let's but say that's... that's gotta, is that Eric Estrada <laughs> standing there between the bullet heads? But he's, he just he's, came in. He's looking mad. Yeah, really. <laughs> Him and the other guy are just bent. They are well, not happy. They're not happy because the feds show up, and these guys already have ridiculous haircuts, and they're already doing the military knife hand thing, and they're like, motherfuckers. Well, I'll say <laughs> this. In the background, in the background, they're like, here's what we got on the auction coming up. Absolutely nothing. All of our screens have stopped working. We got nothing. And the guy's like, 500 for nothing. Either that or he's holding a jazzercise, you know, event. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's like when old... Okay, swing to the left. Swing. It, it's swing. like when old people do exercise and you'll see the person leading it actually doing it and then everyone else just kind of shuffling in circles and they're like, good energy. <laughs> well, that's why the guy with the white hair there on the left, he's like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like that. <sighs> oh my god. All right. Can uh, we get in there? <laughs> okay. Next. That's, whoa. No. Jesus. H. <laughs> sassy <laughs> cop has come to sass you. <laughs> I'll straighten out that attitude, mister. <laughs> he's, got his little, he's got his little hand weights. 
He's ready. He's got his shake weight going. Yeah, exactly. My name is Officer Randy Shake Weight. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice mustache there. That is a quality porn stash. <laughs> the whole thing screams porn. I yeah, mean, it does. That stance on everything. Oof. Is that a gun in your holster? You're just happy to see me. No, <laughs> no. That's a flashlight. <laughs> Right. I'm just a mall security guard. <laughs> mall security oh, of the gun. far future. <laughs> like the Paul Blart of the Steiner Mall. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Battle Ticket would be a mall the size of a planet, and it would have a Jesus. monorail going through it at 300 miles an hour. And they're like, Yes, like you- that new mall they just built somewhere, and it's got like a fucking ski resort in it. It's oh, my got a, God. It's, it's got an actual ski slope in it. Um, it's a brand new mall because someone they were like, we have to make malls even more impressive. It costs like a like a billion dollars or some ridiculous it, thing. It'll like be out of business in six weeks, and then we can go yeah. check pick through it. And but and- it's literally got a couple of roller coasters in it. It has a completely uh, climate controlled refrigerated skiing uh, slope where you can go downhill skiing. Uh, I've saw it. I forget what else is there, but it's insane. Oh, they got a giant wave, a giant wave pool thing, the uh, <laughs> building where you can do actual full, full scale surfing. So, so it's got like a wave pool, but it's in the food court. So people are, like throwing in corn dogs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's all covered with trash. It's like the real ocean. It's Whoa. perfect. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Next. Oh, God, wow. Next. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Creosote. God, <laughs> bring oh me God. five pounds of fudge. <laughs> God, the guy in the background is obviously the scream. Uh, yeah, I was, was going to say the yeah. same thing. But it, it's it, I've never seen someone make that face. Never. No, <sighs> I take it back. I saw a lady backing up a Mercedes and slowly scrape it along the side of a building, and <sighs> the valet made that face. So you think that's fudge? Because my first thought was it. He's like some kind of sriracha sauce, you know? Or pasta. <laughs> yeah, that's pasta. He's, that's probably what that so is. So wait, he's he's like, oh yeah, I'd like uh, five pounds of pasta covered with hipster ketchup, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's muschetti. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, on on that's, the menu, on the menu, because I'm pretty sure this is Canopus territory. Just okay, yeah, because yeah, the Canopus territory is just degenerates, and and no, I mean that's literally who they cater to. They're like, we got yeah, cat girls, we got robo hookers, we. Got, I mean, right, that's just, where that's where Duncan Fisher went on vacation. Uh, in this weird lore that I have going. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, it's yeah, can. Yeah. Canopus is like Vegas if Vegas had no rules. And right. And and right. so I, I just imagine like you go into like a high end casino, you throw down like a million fucking C bills, you, you lose it all and they comp you and you go and pull up the menu and it doesn't because it is the 31st century, things have changed a little bit. So it says Puschetti, like P apostrophe <laughs> Sketty. Sp- Puschetti. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll have the Puschetti for eight. <laughs> Is the rest of your party joining you, sir? No. <laughs> no. It's just for me. I'm a family sized guy, so I want a family sized portion. I love carbs. <laughs> I'm a runner, can you tell? <laughs> I used to run track. Oh. Yeah, when I was younger. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Next. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, who's going? They embroidered it and everything. Hey, you guys doing? This is my grandson. Uh, That's isn't right. Isn't adorable? He made a so- cross stitch. <laughs> I drew my grandson. This is the face he makes all day while waiting in line. <laughs> when I get those well actually posts that are really negative to my Battletech videos where people are like, Oh, actually, Gundam is better. This is the face oh, I yeah. see. This is this yep. is this is who I see. Yeah, I, hair, I get those hair occasionally. Is way too well groomed for that. Yeah, okay, he is a bit well groomed. You need to like wipe your head with a chip bag first. <laughs> Unless he's, you know, his mom is hit, taking care of him, or his, you know, grandmother or something like that. Like you said, pressure washes <laughs> him once a day. <laughs> Run him through the car wash. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> God. Next. 
<laughs> it's Dr. Cornelius. <laughs> I was thinking Landed more the apes. I would see this more as like the guy at the end of a bridge. Answer me my riddle and I will give you a trinket. Who wants to help me put up a barn? <laughs> Not now, Mormon Joe. We're on a quest. <laughs> You kids and your newfangled things like... <laughs> I can't talk. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, I went to the barber and I told him I want the honest Abe. <laughs> this is what I got. I don't want to have to keep wiping my mouth off while I eat. <laughs> Take care of me. I keep cool. chewing on my mustache till my wife changed my beard off. <laughs> I, still, I still vote for... Dr. Cornelius. I, well, yeah, Dr. Zayas? What was it? Dr. Zayas? Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Yes, Dr. Zayas, not Cornelius. Cornelius was one of the monkeys. I'm sorry. It's all right, yeah, man. Dr. Hey, we'll, we'll let Chant decide. We'll let Chant yeah. decide. Yeah. Okay. Next. Whoa. It could be Mark, Mark Hamill doing a Planet of the Apes <laughs> sketch on like Saturday Night Live or something. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> That's... Wow. Madam, can you wear um, the bacteria that you find in the back of the fridge? <laughs> it's a cloak. <laughs> Is it made of like it's made bacteria? Made my husband's pubic hairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. Why would someone put this in a battle tech art? Like, I if if I want to see who someone is in battle tech, give me a headshot. Give me a classic bust. You know, like shoulders up. Looking stern or whatever. I think that was made from some kind of weird alien uh, animal because those are all the like little antenna that are left over from the, the top of the head. <laughs> yes, and it's like this sort of furry but insect-like shell. <laughs> no, no, I just I imagine she like went to you know those those fucking uh, grass that they can just plop down in your yard. She just like oh yeah it yeah put it on sod. <laughs> Yes, sod. sod. The latest, the latest <laughs> sod from Versace. That's right, sod. Like, by it Versace. only itches mildly. <laughs> yes. Who's your landscaper, darling? <laughs> I don't mind the aphids anymore. I have ladybugs. So they're lucky, you know. Oh, <laughs> next. They have the technology to fix my lazy eye, but <sighs> it's not fashionable. Th th this next one looks like a movie poster it's, for a vampire yeah. movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like some early Natasha Kinski <laughs> type thing or what's that other uh Jessica Alba. I don't know, but but like really stoned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they said they stopped making quaaludes, but I didn't believe them. <laughs> no. Not going to stop me. <laughs> I'll eat a handful of anything. Coming this summer, regret. <laughs> Here's a whole cup of pills. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just root her out in the pill bucket. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I played too much Space Station 13. Uh, next. Wow, I like this. this wow, it's it's Hamlet Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the crown's supposed to go down that far. <laughs> Well, it talked to costumes. <laughs> like it's cutting the circulation off in my head. Look at my... Last I know him, Horatio. Oh, my God. This guy comes out of the basement holding the skull, and everyone else pretends he doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask about the skull. He's going to be like that all evening. <laughs> It's Cousin Cackle. <laughs> He's come up, come up from the basement. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. Next. Wow. Hey, that's proper. Yeah. Fuck yes. Curita. Take that, wow. you son of a bitch. I, I, I put that in. I put that in at the end. I figured that would be an appropriate way to wow. end this. <laughs> they cut him in half, Sarge. They cut him in half. Well, that, I mean, that's a catapult, so that awesome blasted its legs and the fucking cock. That's not an sword. awesome. That could be he's just taking it? a pot shot. That looks it? like a Zeus. Oh, yeah, it yeah. does look like a Zeus, yeah. 
Well, fuck. I don't know anything about battle. It's a, I just edit the video. It's a kill and... stealer. That's what he is. <laughs> yeah, it's a Zeus. I had to double check. I so I don't get those points. I just wanted to make sure I was absolutely correct. Okay. Yep. But I am admitting I did not. Yeah, because the Zeus, the gun. yeah, the Zeus um, uh, battle mech always reminds me of um, Robot Monster, <laughs> the movie Robot Monster, because it has that sort of weird helmet. With the two yeah, little yeah, antennas. Those little antennas, right? it reminds me of like silverfish, you know? Like when, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so I'm like, oh yeah, the little goofy antennas for the TVs and whatnot. Oh, God. Mechanized silverfish. <laughs> All right, so I have a side folder. And from this, I'm going to draw one piece of art out of each of these. Because in a future thing, I'm going to be sitting down with some DMs who know each setting really, really well. But Ooh. I'm going to start getting into other settings and sitting around with experts of these settings just to, yep. you know, have some fun. So yep. this one is uh, from Mr. Goat, who does all the wonderful barding stuff in the Black Pants Legion. And he is uh, a World of Darkness expert. And um, he, he gave us this one to look at. There's many, but I'm just going to choose one. <laughs> <laughs> Danzig's making a comeback. <laughs> I need more spikes on my braces. That's fucking brutal. It's like, what was that? What was that band? That cartoon that was the band of the uh, Metalocalypse. Metal yeah, Metal Metalpocalypse. Yeah, Metalpocalypse or whatever the fuck it was. That's fucking brutal. <laughs> That's so brutal. It's so fucking dark. It's the blackest black times infinity. <laughs> this guy really is Nathan Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what is this from? It, World of Darkness. This is from World of Darkness. Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Werewolf. Wait. So he is a vampire, but he's like standing in fire. That isn't that like their weakness. Yeah. Um. Didn't say he was a Wait, good vampire. Vampires are weak to fire. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. the the the, <laughs> o the other guy is uh, Mr. Stagger, who who loves weird. And I I wanted to show you guys a picture from this game that he really likes called Riffs. Unfortunately, a lot of this is exceptionally surreal. Um, okay. And I. So R R I F F R I F T S. Oh, rifts. Rift, okay. Rifts. Um, some of this is rifts. so surreal, I don't think I'm going to be able to even explain any of it. Uh, I've played some rifts before, but it's largely inexplainable. This is probably the most normal picture you're going to see. Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. All right. There's, there's a lot to... Maybe there's a lot to take in. Um, there's <laughs> there's a guy getting a Amazon Prime package from a dragon in the background. Um, <laughs> Gargamel is delivering what appear to be magic apples that are being dissolved by or Larry. a basket of snowballs. Yeah. <laughs> um, young Anakin Skywalker in the background looks confused. Yeah. yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> In the foreground, Larry Fishhead comes out of his uh, rape dungeon to to greet Gargamel for this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind my hands; I'm wearing mittens. <laughs> is he making apples happen, or is he pulling the apples out? He's he's like. If you remember him, he's like uh, the old '70s hippie ma hippie magician Doug Henning. He's like magic happens, and he like he's throwing glitter in the air, and his <laughs> all this shit's happening, and everyone's like, "Wow!" Because they're all fucking stoned too. Well, the, the kid in <laughs> the his back. eyes. Look at his eyes. I know. <laughs> the kid in the background is like, "Uncle Dad, Uncle Dad, the wizard's back, and he's trying to get the Amazon Prime package <laughs> from the dragon." <laughs> it's a total. It's a total uh, example of what happens, you know, in the future. When when meth takes over again, because you could see the the house is in shambles, and they don't care about anything but the next drug delivery. You know, they're getting the, <laughs> they're getting the 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 apples made of made of snow, as they call it, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that other package is being dropped off by. What everyone sees as a dragon, and is just you know like some drone. It's been, you know, delivering because nobody is going to go in that that part of the that part of the state. 
<laughs> I, oh I just God. imagine this is just a picture of, of a perspective of somebody who's just standing there stoned and drugged out of their mind. And <laughs> they're like, Dave, are you okay? He's like, no, no, everything's good, man. I don't see a dragon. That's the, yeah, you look totally normal. Apple <laughs> float. <laughs> 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 And your basket floats too. It's, <laughs> I'm holding that with fishing line. It's 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 a trick. <laughs> it's a trick. Please don't ask I why do I got like, this Jedi child. I do like the Jedi child. That totally fits. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what that thing is. It's it's like a prototype of from the creature from the Black Lagoon or something. It is. Like I'm not it, quite sure what they were gonna do. But well, just, we can try this design. Oh, that looks fucking stupid. Just the face <laughs> mask <laughs> though. Some of the battle tech art. That could be what it is. You know, he, he thought he was putting his hat on, but he actually grabbed a rubber mask <laughs> from Halloween. I'll just put my hat on. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just drugs, guys. It's just yeah. drugs. Wow. That is a cool picture just because it's so it's so hard to nail down what you're looking at, you know? I agree. Yeah. And that's riffs and like in that. general. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll end out I'll end out with one more riffs. I'll I'll give oh, you okay. I'll give you one more. One one more okay. sweet cuz it is All right. You you thought that was fine to look at? Okay, here we go. Uh yeah. I I'm okay. Mhm. Mm I took a course one time about interpreting art. So Okay, interpret that, George. Okay, let's see. Hey. hey! <laughs> <Don't forget me. laughs> Well, it's Dr. Insanitron's appearance parallels his personality. This old man, there, there's half the explanation right there, has had extensive bionic reconstruction in order to remain alive. Yeah, he appears to be in his late 80s, but his warranty says he died in the 60s. So I don't know. Here's my question. If you had a giant murder robot, would you write vote yep. for me on the front of it? If you were running for public office, <laughs> just <laughs> how can you ignore that coming down the street? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to crash the Macy's parade. Look at that. Look at that balloon. Fight crime. <laughs> hey, I've, I've never seen one of those balloons, Kevin. Have you? <laughs> no, that's a new one. I don't know what cartoon that's from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is this has been fun, guys. I really I really appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. <laughs> like, no. yeah, that's fine. Sure. Uh, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm like, oh, I I don't know. I was just going along with the flow. That's so, the problem. Uh, Often we find ourselves lost in it. Space got tearing off your nose. Great tide valid hunt. Steal all the wires, librarians reading nasty prose. The cargo's quiet, just as people know. Because it's pizza party night. The cargo techs out the crates all aglow. They're gearing up for a fight. That checkers is on his way. He's loaded guns and meth pills for the prey. And every great tight shit has gone a spy to see if there's good shit that they can buy. And so I'll tear apart this fucking clown. Not and to Titus too. Although it's been done many times, many ways. Hail Cargonia. Fuck you. Is this what Christmas is supposed to be like? Ham, Sam, fucking Duncan Fisher, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>